Hello everyone, after having learned how to download and install the PyCharm in your system using this video, you might have learned, if you have seen this video, you would have learned that, right? If not, then just go and check it out, okay? So after having learned this, you must be desperate to start your no new project, right? So I understand it quite well, right? So let me just show you how you can do that. That's what we're going to learn in this particular video. All that you need to do is go in a start menu over here and try to search for pie charm right so here is your charm you can get it right just click on open or you can directly click on the application button okay so here in this video i'm not going to be giving you a lecture on fundamentals rather i would directly show you the application and the practical examples how to create the project so in pie charm what happens is usually we have to work by creating a project till now in jupyter you uh, jupyter notebook or maybe in a spider what we usually do is we directly go into the application open a new file and start typing the script little different it's little different in pycharm what we need to do is first create a project and that's what i'm going to show you how to create your first project so here like you can see the last project which i was working on that is opened over here so if the same thing is happening to you what you can do is you can now i'm going to teach you or maybe explain you or maybe help you understand how to close a open project so for that you need to go in file menu and just right over here you have the option close project just do that okay as soon as you do it is closed now the application is also gone don't worry it will come up like here you can see that okay now here what we see is look the point it completely depends at what point of time you are watching this video if you are watching recently when it has been uploaded then you will get this kind of interface if it is little late then you might get a new version of pycharm or upgraded interface but don't worry in all the interfaces you are going to get these three options right till now whatever it has been upgraded to we have been getting these three options right mostly but in upcoming v, uh, versions also i assume that these three options are going to be consistent so here what you see is get from vcs open and new project so these two options i'm going to keep on hold for now and i will explain you new project so all that you need to do is just click on new project when you click on this this kind of interface you will get okay so in this they make sure that this pure python is selected if not then just select that and here you it would it would have given your location where you can create a project if this is something which you don't like then you can for sure change it i don't have any issue with this whatever it has selected so i'll go with this okay so if you want to change this what you can do is you can just click on this button folder and you can locate the folder wherever you want to store your project right and then it you can continue further so here all that i need to do is i'll just give a name to my project so i will just say first for you so because i'm creating this first project for you so that's what i'm going to write over here now here you would have to select a virtual environment what a virtual environment is pycharm creates a virtual environment for you which is in parallel to your windows environment and that will be very specific to your current project work now again like i said i will not be giving much lecture on the fundamental things so just understand that it will clear, create a virtual environment you might get all these environments but what we need to choose is virtual environment as of now i'm going to keep, be with this okay now here from this list you need to specify a interpreter here i'm going to keep it python 3.10 all right this is what i have so i'll be uh, continuing with this thing only right so once you're done with selecting all these things what we need to do is just go and click on create let me know in the comment section if you get a different kind of you know a different different kind of interface where you don't get all those options which i was just explaining maybe you can take a screenshot and you can send it on the email uh, learn areas email which is learn area dot a to at gmail dot com now here we are we are inside pycharm right at the this status bar you can see it is indexing don't worry about that let it do its work now once you get this like you can see over here here it is showing your project name which we just created which says first you for first for you now you require to write the python script you are desperate for that right so what you're going to do is just right click on this and go to new all right so it is taking time right and you can just go on python file 
and over here you would require to give a name to your file in advance till now in spider or in jupyter notebook it was not the case but here we first need to specify the file name right so i'm just going to say first for you file all right so i just click this now here we go now let's try to do a basic calculation over here let's say 7 plus 7 okay and when you select this and oops we don't have a run button over here you see all right how do we manage this don't worry we have this run application uh, run menu go inside that and click on run button alternatively you can use alt shift and f10 so when i run this what's gonna happen is it it is asking what is it that you want to run do you want to edit the configuration or you want to continue with whatever you have in this in this particular script so i want to continue with this i'll click this and let's just see what happens so here oops we got nothing right it produced nothing so why is it happening if we go in jupyter notebook and if we type 7 plus 7 and hit Control enter it is producing the result why is it not doing here because here we require to use the print all right so when you do so just go and select this and come back over here and just run now if you see over here here you got the result alternatively you have the python console over here as well right so what you can do is you can click on python console and uh, here you will get the console if you want you can just expand it a little bit and over here if you do 7 plus 7 and you hit enter you're going to get the instant result okay so you have both of the options you can try whatever you want now let's try to install uh, sorry import our favorite you know package which is pandas right so let's just try import pandas pandas as pd let's just run and let's see what happens when you run this what's going to happen oops it is showing the error because the pandas is not installed how do we install this right so we have been doing this pip install pandas let's just see if this works when we do this oops it is saying invalid syntax what is the solution now so the solution over here is here you need to go in file and from here go in settings when you go in when you click on settings this is what you get now you find your project so here is the project that you have just expand this in that you will get python interpreter when you select this this kind of interface you're gonna get and just right over here you have this plus icon which is nothing but for install so just click that and here you're going to get a list of all the libraries or packages so you can search for your favorite one which is pandas here and just select that and at the bottom click install package so it will take a couple of minutes till the time i'm going to pause the video all right so it is done we are done with installing the pandas so once this is done you just click this close button and over here in this list now you would see that pandas is installed and it has by default installed numpy as well right so let's just continue now just come back over here and say okay and then select this and now you if you run this you should not get any kind of error over here all right so this is done now after this let's try to create a basic data frame so for that we will first create a dictionary this is the dictionary which we came up with right and now let's create a dummy data frame which is called df and then call pd dot data frame so what you gonna do is just type data and it should auto complete this the way it does in jupyter notebook here also it should do this right uh, maybe it is taking some time because you see over here indexing is something which is very slow so what i'll do is i'll just write it okay and inside that i will just supply data dictionary and done right and then after that i will just try to print head two okay now let's just try to run this okay and let's just see what happens when you execute this here it is again doing the indexing it is pretty slow it's little slow but yeah it's going to you are going to enjoy working in pycharm right because there are many other features which are quite useful you see what is the issue that we get here it says module pandas has no attribute data frame what is this why is it showing what is why is it saying this pandas definitely have a module which is called data frame data 
frame here we got that okay and inside that let's just apply data dict it should complete that little slow data dict let me just see if it is selecting yes it is selecting the same now let's just select and run this let's see what happens here nothing happened because it it didn't produce the result of this thing right because i said that in here you'll have to use print command right now you select this and when you run this you see here you're gonna get the data frame like you can see here num and 66 and 77 two observations are produced all right so this is in this is it in this video in the next video we will learn how to set up the scrappy into this pie charm and then start with this doing the web scrapping with scrappy until then happy learning wish you very all the best